Hello, in this CyberStart cybersecurity walkthrough, we'll be doing the headquarters space. So we'll do headquarters, or HQ base, and level 8. So in level 8, let's start off with challenge number 1, locked doors. Let's take a look. So recruiter, another piece of field work for you. We want to test the internal door locks on the ship, and how better than to let one of our most promising agents, you, to, to try and hack into it. Take a look at this lock. It has some binary numbers. Can you figure out how to get in? Break three, break through the lock to get into the flat. We have two binary numbers, so two sets of numbers. So let's first try to convert them and see if we have any information. What's so your binary to digits or base 10? So decimal, uh, let's enter a binary number. Let me copy these two numbers. Uh, let's do one by one actually. So let me copy the first one and convert. So 361. And interestingly, the second number has, or number we have to enter also has the same number, same length as our binary number. So that could indicate we may have to convert back into binary. So 361 and 877. So let's swap it and let's do 361 plus. 877. So that's 1238. So 1238. Convert. Let's see if that's it. So we just added those two numbers. If it's addition, this should work. Uh, I guess we have to type it out and then 100. Zero, zero. Well, let's see if another number works. So we only binary. So okay, that's correct. 11. One, one. And then 010. Zero, zero. And lastly, Oh, uh, let's see. One zero zero one one zero one zero. So this is incorrect. So adding them doesn't work, but both of them have me or all three of them being the same length gives us a hint that maybe there's another operation we do with two different binary numbers. And interestingly, um, there is so there's an XOR operation. Let's try that one. XOR binary to oh, this is XOR binary. And now let's get the first number. And let's make this base two binary. And let's get second number. And we'll make this also base two. So binary variable was not a valid base two and updated input may change. So it looks like the zero in front of it got truncated. All right, let's try that. Okay, that's fine. So we have 204. So let's put do 204 now. Convert. So it's 100. Can I do control A? Okay, so I don't think I have to manually do it for each one. So it's 11. Now let's see what it was. 11000011. And Zero zero. Okay, zero zero. And since there are spaces, we'll probably do one one. Okay, so so that doesn't seem to work, and that could probably just be reason because these two numbers aren't the same length. But essentially, what XOR does or exclusive or is if the two numbers are the same, it puts zero. If they're different, it puts one. So we could just try that. So we know that's different. They're the same. They're the same. They're the same. 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 Different. Same, same. Great. So we don't have to use a calculator for that. If we just understood what the XOR operation is, it'll also be great. So see you in the next challenge in level nine, headquarters space.